she does this every time. I tell her that I'm recording, and she just keeps talking. She doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, she just yeah. talks over it. Hey, it's a podcast. You can just say anything. I couldn't even hoe around about this weekend. What? <laughs> no, I just wanted to say something random. It's not even huh? true. I don't even want to hoe around. I'm good. What am I even saying? I'm high. Hi guys, welcome to the Munch of Time podcast. I'm gonna edit that out, by the way. No, I'm not. Dumbest thing I'm not gonna edit it out. Holly's a hoe. We all know she's a hoe, and she. If you're a woman and you are a hoe, be proud of that shit. Yeah, at least own that you're a hoe. Dude, use protection. Dude, don't yeah, be dumb. Use protection. Don't be stupid. Make sure you get don't paid be, for what you're doing too. Yeah, make sure you're getting paid. Make the money. This means if. <laughs> I need a sugar daddy. <laughs> I'm just thinking shit up. She was telling me earlier today, she's like, I need sugar daddy. And she's like, I'll do anything for a sugar daddy. I'm like, girl, you do anything? She's like, no, I wouldn't have sex. There's limitations. <laughs> There's like limits. There's limits. Like, if he wants to take me out, sure, cool. Like, great. You're going to pay me for that? Great. If he's cute, then, you know, it's great. But, nah, I'm not going to. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Munch of Time podcast. Oh, my God. You were not. Didn't I point it out earlier, too? I did, right? Whatever. Anyways, welcome. <laughs> you even knew I was recording. You're like going to edit this out. You're <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Anyways, this is Munchy Time Collective. <laughs> I swear this is Munchy Time Collective. I'm Holly Sko. <clears throat> we also have... I also sound like a 66-year-old tweaker on this podcast, <laughs> and I apologize. Um, I've been super, super sick. This is the first time in like days I've gone outside of the house and seen other people and like breathe actual outside air so it's, it's great and then I'm just rambling at this point yeah but we also have J-Dog I've been calling J-Dog J-Dog since the beginning of time I'm just I'm too high to argue with you right now <laughs> <laughs> and we also have Cool too. hello how are you yeah what up <laughs> Say <What>? something. <laughs> <coughs> Holly's just so fucking starstruck. She doesn't know what the fuck. She's I know. I about. am. I am. Tell us I'm, about you, cool too. Like, what are you about? What's up with you? What What's going on? I'm an artist. Uh, I produce trap music. I make dream pop, <gasps> and I DJ, <gasps> and I rap sometimes. I'm just an artist <gasps> in general. I <with> music. <laughs> Holly, you're so fucking loud. We can't even hear what the fuck he's saying. I'm sorry. Anyways, go on. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm to just... find an artist that does dream pop and also does trap. Spin vinyl. <laughs> so let's get into our first section, our first segment. <laughs> let's let's get into life. Sing it. Girl, I'm not going to sing it. And we're on season one again. We need to explain that to you. Oh, yeah. We're on season four. This is episode... F- <laughs> I don't know what episode it is. I'm really high. I'm sorry. You're good. I hope you didn't come today and you were like, all oh, these people are so unorganized. <laughs> I know, he's like, fuck these people. <laughs> They're weird as fuck. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm all meeting him in the middle of my street. He's hiding his giant, he's like, damn, dude, <laughs> nah, you caught nah, me red-handed. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's fucking, I was so fucking tired after today. But we're going to talk about that oh, later. And a new segment, and a new segment today. <laughs> but anyways, let's, let's, let's get to life. <laughs> She likes to sing. I feel so bad because cool, say your actual I know your real name isn't cool too, so would you like to introduce Oh, uh, my name is Robert Salas. Oh, Robert. Roberto. That's my dad's name. That's well, actually Ricardo, but people call him Robert. Robert. But you're fucking weird. <laughs> seriously, you just get on my last nerve sometimes. You just make me like fucking just cringe. <laughs> hey, I seriously swear we can make a cringe challenge video out of all the fucking things you say on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What did I say today that was cringy? Girl, every cringy. little thing you say is cringy, girl. You can say hi, and I'm like, oh, bro, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh no, oh, oh no, oh honey, no, 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 no. You're mean, dude. Fuck you. Anyways, <laughs> so this is the life portion. Yeah. We're gonna start it off with our guest, the trap lord. <laughs> Cool too. <laughs> Bull bomb and collected as always. <laughs> um, so what's going on in your life? How was your day? 
Rock is like, what do your fans not know about you? Like, what do you do other than music? Like, who is Robert? Who do you is work at Mickey D's? Do you like, go to yeah, what do you What's do? Up? Like, you know what I mean? Uh, all I do is work right now. <laughs> Where do you okay, work do you at work? Staters? Let the fans know, like, what your life is on a personal level. I work at Staters. Oh, and, like, shit. Stater Bros, the girl she's So you gotta wear the uniform and everything. Yeah. Yes. Pretty much sure. And how's I that mean, going for you? It's like, I don't know. Like, I don't like it. But, mm-hmm. I, but, you, but you do it. Yeah. But other than that, like, I also haven't been making, like, a lot of music, but, like, like, literally work has, like, been messing that up. Like, like I don't know. Like, because when I come home, like, I just want to lay down and, like, I'm so tired. And, like, I've tried, there's been days where I've tried to make more music, but it's just, like, dude, I'm so tired. Like, I can't make music. Mm-hmm. But, um, like, I already hit my year. I've been working there for a year. And, like, once I take my, like, vacation, like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make music, like, all that week and just come out with something new. You know? Yeah. You're just going to stay home or you're going to go do something? Oh, yeah, I'm just going to stay home and make music. Uh-huh. So I don't know, you can rent out like an Airbnb, <laughs> fucking go somewhere, enjoy your vacation, I don't know, but I, that's still a good vacay. Because uh, you know, I've been like, lagging like on my, all on my music, like, so, I, like my music has been like blowing up, mm-hmm. and like I just want to put out more. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because when was the last time you were able to just make music? A long that's time. Out. That recent one that I just came out with, like. I don't even know how I did it. Like I just did it, and like, but it was so hard though. Like, I don't know. It was good. It's it turned out good though. Mm-hmm. It's a process. What else do you do on a daily basis? Anything fun? <laughs> Anything I mean, exciting that happened to you recently? Any you know, crazy like you saw sports? like a, you know, tweaker on the street. <laughs> you, um. You know, I don't know. Other than, like, it's just work. Like, I always run into, <coughs> like, crazy people. Like, there's this guy that always just, like, comes in the store, and then, like, he's quiet, but once he gets out, like, he's just, like, <sighs> like, he, like, screams <laughs> so saying. loud. You're a fucking cut. You're a fucking cut. Uh, uh, C-U-N-T, C-U-N-T times three, bitch. Cunt. Cunt, cunt, cunt. Don't put that horn thing on. I swear to fucking God, that shit, that shit's just too, oh, my God. <gasps> Haha. Oh, <laughs> we have we have very 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 realistic um sound. Mm. We don't use like editing. We just straight up, you know. Straight up. Use an air horn app. It's my okay. sound. When you hear that sound, you think of me. <laughs> well, some of people use that sound already. The fuck boy you... high beast air sound. <laughs> the air horn sound. What the app. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, come on. <laughs> All the rappers use it in their, in their bitch. music video. You're a like, bitch. You're a bitch. <laughs> okay, Holly, what's going on in your life? We're not done with Cool Tube. Oh. I mean, he was like, Girl, I gave you my crazy story. What else do you want? <laughs> no, like. Okay, so wait. You yeah, I have up, some like, questions. Have you lived no, in no, Upland no. like your whole life? Since I was. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What, how old are you? Like, I'm we need 19. facts. I'm 19. You're 19, and I okay. Up and He's a young one. He's a young one. A young yeah. one. Young Ling. Like, how, how old do you think me and Jose are? How old do you think I am? Like, 22. Okay, how old okay. do you think Holly is? Like, 21. 20. <laughs> oh, wait, no. You, you just said, you just said, like, okay, no, you're 22. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're 23 and you're. I don't know. I'm 21. She's 23. I'm 23. Uh, that's crazy. Yes. Holly just turned 23. Maybe and like... now she's barely starting to pay her bills. <laughs> and she's learning bitch. what it's like to be an adult. <laughs> her parents are like, bitch, you are 23. You pay your own shit now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say I'm very blessed. <laughs> You're very blessed. You're blessed, girl. <laughs> Oh god! Um, <laughs> tell me about your shirt. Tell me about your shirt. What's up with this? I want one of these. Wait, so it's, I want to know. Did really you go to cute. Did you go to Upland High? Yes. You did. Okay. Oh. Did you do music? Okay, I like, love that she okay. just interrupts my question. Because I you live in Shut up. Ontario. <laughs> I'm just I always say 
upland slash Ontario because literally right here is the upland and then there's like oh, this wow. bridge over the freeway that's Ontario. And okay. I, went, I went to elementary school in Ontario. I went to middle school in Ontario, Vina Danks. And then I went to Upland High School. And then I graduated from there. But then I transitioned to another school because I was doing that. I go to a continuation school. And then I got, mm, I got like super. Girl, but look, look, look. Like, I got super ahead credits where I could have graduated early. Oh. And so I was like, nah, I'm going to just go back to Upland <clears throat> High and have like a real graduation. I know Upland High has a really good music program. They have a really good chamber Dude. singers. I was in the, the choir at my high school. Bro. And so we used to like do Dude, competitions yeah, with it was their super chamber good. choir. But like we they, were fucking better they than They had like a dope, say that. like a jazz, um, whatever you no, call they, it, like they, a jazz they, thing yes, or whatever. It was dope. They have a very good music program. Like a lot of good musicians will call. Actually, one of the best. was amazing because I used to be in the jazz band and we used to compete against Upland. Yeah. And Awesome. And awesome there's, there's actually this girl that used to like perform. Like I only did like three shows, and like yeah. she like helped, and she was like, dude, like she was so good. Um, she got a scholarship for Berkeley, <gasps> really? just like for music. Like, oh my god. And like she's I'm telling you, dude, stuff. their program. I haven't seen her in forever though. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's insane. I went to a theater program. high school. We didn't have a music program. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. Unless the musical theater counts. What? Girl, musical hey, you theater. Say? I said I went to a theater high school. We didn't oh, have a did. music program unless it was <laughs> musical, theater. musical theater. Musical theater major. So he does. No, bitch. You got it all switched up. I'm a journalism major and oh, musical right, theater dude. minor. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it mixed up. Kind of mixed up. You're such a bitch. Listen, I'm high. I took some day cool. Okay, fuck what this bitch got to say. What's up with your t-shirt? Why do you um, pick like the design? Do you like the shapes, the prisms I and love shit? that shirt. I want actually... that so bad. Really? I'm coming out with my tomorrow. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save me one, but, please. Um, like, this is a design that I came up with, like, hella years ago. And where like, can people buy your out, merch? Um, Cooltube.bigcartel.com. Um, okay. But they're all sold out right now. They're, they're all sold out? Yeah, they're all sold out, but I'm making more tomorrow, and I'm going to release them again. But it's just a little design that I came up, like, when I first started. Mm-hmm. And then my homie... Um, his name's Carlos. He runs a brand called Desmadre. He hit me up and he was like, yo, I'm a ho- I want to help you do, like, shirts. <coughs> so like, he printed out the screen and, like, we got it done. Mm. And, like, we're going to make some more. So. Nice. Dude, hell yeah. I love the design, too. Mm. It's so, like... Well, this one, like, this one is th- three, but the real one is just, like, one up here. Mm. But, I mean, it's still clean, though. Like, right. Like, when I came out, I was like, dude, like, this design, it's, like, simple. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's I simple, it. but it's, it's fresh, simple. it's clean, yeah. abstract. <laughs> Getting bad with bad abstract. <laughs> Stupid. Getting bad with bad abstract. <laughs> hey. Shout out to bad abstract. I love bad abstract. I love those boys so much. Great, guys. <laughs> and your article will be coming out sometime next week. So, Bro, I would already be out. That's true. I just wrote an article on Bad Abstract for <laughs> my school's online <laughs> website. So, you know, Check that shit out. Check that shit out. And you don't smoke. Mm. What's up with that? You're like mm, one of the first mm, people on this podcast I've, that have not smoked. I've, I've always been around. And you me. look like a smoker. That's what a lot of people say, but I'm just like chill. Like mm. I'm You're already chilling. Yeah, like. Have you tried it? You don't want to? Well, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. Like, I've always been, been around, around it. it but yeah, you never all the time. To yourself, like all the time. Um, all my homies, like, cause I used to hang out with like cholos and stuff, like way back in the day. Hey, and they'll big be boob. like, they'll be like, hey, like, try it, try it, and I'll be like, nah, like, not whole not, not, not. Like, yeah. but I'm like chilling. Like, I'm not against it or anything. I'm mm-hmm. just like, not for like, you. I just don't want to do it. Yeah, I get you. But, I mean, I'm already like. I just feel like if I say I did do it, like, I am just feel like I'm going to be quiet. Like, like I know there's, like, different types of people that, like, when they're high, like, they're different. Like, I just feel like me, like, I'd be super quiet. Like, mm. I get like that sometimes, too. And, like, I'm already oh, I'm, I'm already so quiet, but... Yeah, you um, are. You're very quiet, though. But, I mean, like, once you get to know me, like, I'm, yeah. I'm funny. People see me as, like, a funny dude yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Damn. All right. Is there anything else in your life? I just want to, like... Fans mm. get to know you, you know. Mm. You like um, memes? Yeah. Hell yeah. 
Girl who doesn't like, like memes. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like I've been memes, watching bitch. like a lot of cringe videos. Like I follow this page called My Cringe. Holly's and, life. And it just has nothing but cringe videos, and it's just <laughs> funny. Good <laughs> like the one with Have you seen the cowboy singing? In oh Walmart? my god! <laughs> no. Like yes, this is what I was literally just talking about in the car. I was like, Have you not seen that meme? <laughs> that video, show him. Show him. All right. We're gonna play it on the podcast. <laughs> The it's just like some random kid just singing in Walmart. Country <coughs> song. This is you as a kid. <laughs> Damn, I man. really want to dress you up like this <laughs> and have you go to the Walmart right? <laughs> and do this shit. So please, if I pay you, no. please, please, please. All right, here we go. Dude, please, I will pay you. What do you want me to do? <laughs> You're going to do this. <laughs> I can't make that noise, girl. Please just try. You can totally do it. <laughs> girl, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny though? I think I can't do that. <laughs> oh, but we're gonna put you in that whole outfit. <laughs> no, bro. No. I'm going to give you some boots. I'm going to give you some boots. Yeah. I have boots, girl. Get them, cowboy. Those alligator boots? No, girl. I didn't have alligator boots. I have straight leather cowboy boots, girl. That's true. Jose used to, he lived on a ranch. ranch. Yeah. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. That's tight. Yeah. Yeah. My dad's He's a He's a true son. Mexican cowboy. <laughs> 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 like I just imagine Jose when he's older, just like riding in on his horse, like at smoking any, a blunt. Any party that we go to, <laughs> and it's dancing. Because my horse knows how to dance. Like, so how like... the horses like dance with the. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please like when I get married and have a wedding party at some point, like later on in my life? Like, can you ride in? Yeah, when you're forty two and have your wedding, yeah. <laughs> You're right. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Could you imagine if that actually happened? Why? Like, if you really predicted that I was going to get married at 40, 42. I and mean, then, like, you're halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed that, girl? You're halfway it's to 42. weird to think about. Holy shit. You know shit. what? Okay, wait, wait. You know what Whoa. else is weird to think about that, that my boyfriend pro- um, hmm. pointed out to me the other day? How old are you? You're 23. No, 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 no. Listen, no, listen, no, Who's listen. Even my age? No, I know how you are. I'm just saying. Think He's about like, it. Think about it. Who are you? <laughs> Girl, what's your name again? That's good. <laughs> Girl, what's your last name? What's your last name, bro? What's your address again, girl? <laughs> what car do you drive again, girl? <laughs> oh fuck. Girl, what's this podcast called again? I forgot. <laughs> and I like <laughs> run I'm it with still- you. What's our collective's name again? I forgot. No, seriously. No, seriously. Listen, like, listen. So you're 23, oh right? God, Think about shit. it like this. You're literally only 13 years ago, you were 10 years old. some dumb shit. No, girl. Gosh. Listen, no, listen. 13 years ago, you were 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> right? Doesn't that freak you out a little bit? Like, how are you 19? Nine years ago, you were 10. Think about how young you are. Because nine years ago, I'm you were 10. Stressed. That's how you're, That's how young you are. That's crazy, huh? To yeah. think about. Yeah. Like, you're like, wow, when I was 10, I was like half of a person. And now that I'm like <clears throat> almost 20, I grew that other half. You get what I'm saying? It's weird. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I see that. Yeah. yeah. But honestly, in my life, nothing has been going on. I've just been sick. Girl, what oh, no. do you want to talk about? You know, it's fine because we're going to talk about it in our new segment. I kind of low-key created a new segment for the podcast. Oh, my God. And <laughs> Holly's got to love it. I'll OBE love it. it girl, girl, I'll tell you what later. No, so I've just been sick. Nothing else has really been going on. Just, you know, school full-time, work part-time-ish. And, um, yeah, just this is my last semester at SAC, and I'm super excited. And then I'm finally done. Well, not done, but then I transfer to a Cal State and get my Hopefully. AA in journalism. And I currently mm. write for the online news publication. And I'm also the 
director of content for our school's online magazine, mm-hmm. um, usually for the arts and entertainment Public aspect. And I love writing, and I love doing music journalist work, so it's awesome. I've been really enjoying it, and I feel like I'm really growing as a writer, so it's really, really, really cool. So it's kind of like bittersweet, because our program for SAC, for the journalism department... Have you been really lonely, and you need a girl who's graduating college and going to a Cal State and does so much with her life and is so successful... (laughs) Go ahead and call one eight hundred Jokoho now. Bitch, you <laughs> fucking bitch. But what Dial you one for English. Why, why you, like, wait, 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 wait. Dial one for English. Oprima el número dos para español. <laughs> oh girl. No, I I ain't got no tea yet. I'll tell you later during the next during our um well, that's new segment. Been about it. That's been about it. I'm gonna go to Coachella next weekend. I'm very Ugh. excited. Sh- every I'm gonna see year. Tyler the Creator no, no, in Rex no, Orange no. County this week, so I'm no, fucking excited. Every year okay. she's always like, I'm not going back to Coachella. I've been I, Coachella no, so listen, many listen. I haven't gone I back to Coachella, Coachella in years just because I switched it over and started. But she going always to tries to buy a ticket last minute to Coachella. <laughs> no, no, not even. I haven't gone in years. Last That's year, girl. Because... Last year, girl, you were going to remember <clears throat> for like a day. <laughs> you still went. That's I didn't what go. I'm saying. Anyways, I still think Lollapalooza is better, and I'm still gonna go. I've been going to Lollapalooza more than Coachella. And it's in Chicago, and all of my good homies live in Chicago, so it's so much more, like, fun to actually, like, travel there and go. Because, like, no matter where you look in Lola, it's fucking beautiful. Like, you just see city lights everywhere, and it's, like, literally in the middle of, like, downtown Chicago. It's, like, in the heart of it. So it's just, like, it's beautiful. Like, no matter what stage you're at, and it's nighttime or, like, it's sunset, it's just so beautiful to see, like, the skyscrapers and, like, everything. It's it's fucking gorgeous. And it's, I think it's a lot more of a chiller vibe, because I feel like... At Coachella, everyone's so hype. And at Lala, everyone's just there for, like, the music. You know what I mean? And I, I fucking love that. I appreciate that. That's why I stopped going to Coachella, because I feel like no one was really, like, appreciating yeah. the music. And I hate that, because I'm really there to, like, like, music is my soul. So, yeah. I, you know, I take it seriously. But anyways, that, that's, uh, that's about it with me. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> that's about it? Like, she talked for, like, a second. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, bitch. Calm down. Mm-hmm. God damn. I'm going to San Francisco in a couple weeks. I'm oh, excited about that. Yes, girl, we get it. You go traveling. You go places. Shut the mm-hmm. fuck up. I'm just kidding. Okay. Whatever. I'm an independent woman and I make <laughs> enough money so I can do that. Fuck you. Have you ever wanted an independent woman that does whatever the fuck she wanted? Go ahead and call one eight hundred. Choco now. Don't put me on blast like that. I don't need anyone calling that line. Why? Because you're admitting that's real line. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in your life, Jose? Girl, I gotta spill some tea. Why? What happened? Nothing. That's the thing. Uh-oh. Nothing going on. <laughs> What's going on in your life? What do you do? I smoke a lot mm-hmm. of weed. <clears throat> I work. He works at a very cute tea shop in Pasadena. And I just got hired in an ice cream he shop. He works at a very cute ice cream shop as well in Pasadena. Mm-hmm. They're both in the same like vicinity. Vicinity. They're both very cute and indie. Mm-hmm. Very cute bitches. Smoke some weed. Work in. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed. Drink tea. Eat ice cream every day, yo. <laughs> My life. But crazy story. This this today. I'm not talking about the big thing happening today because that's for our later segment, the new segment. But, oh. girl, on the way back home, do you not remember that drunk driver? <laughs> we got oh, we almost yep. got in a huge ass accident today because there was some guy swerving into our lane, like crazy ass swerving, yeah. Damn. Yeah. And, like, he, like... to swerve the fuck, boys? Oh, my God. And then he, like, turned into, <laughs> yeah. the, turned into the street and then fucking, yeah. Oh. Wrong phone. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, stop trying to touch my shit. Anyways, go on. Um, and then that's about it. Like that drunk driver really fucked me up today. So yeah, was really fucked up. He was like swimming in and out. I almost uh died too. When What's I talking, day? When I was talking to you on the phone. Like, Why? <laughs> because I was changing lanes. Uh huh. And like I forgot about like the blind spot. Oh and, like, shit! I didn't see the car, and then I 
kind of like change the lane and then they're like <laughs> that happens to me sometimes and you're like did you turn uh-huh. and he's like, like oh no, no. <laughs> but yeah <laughs> story of my life so dun, dun, let's get to the music I really want to edit in, you know that sound from like Law and Order? Dun, dun, yeah, yeah. Where it's like, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to the music. I'm going to put that, I'm going to edit that in. So, um, what's up? Any tour dates we should be looking forward to? Any album releases we should look forward to? Singles, music mm-hmm. videos, what's up? I'm trying to make an album. Like, that's why I said when I take a vacation, like, I'm just do nothing but work. Like, I'm going to just make nothing but music. Like, an album. that's just going to be, because that's going to be my chance. Like, the only free time yeah. I have to make music. And yeah. Before, and written album before I didn't have no job or anything, like, yeah. it, I was just doing it at home every day. And Have you written the album yet? Have I written the album yeah. yet? No, I haven't. But, I mean, I could come up, I can make a song in one day. Okay. Like, the, the dream song, like, I made it in one day, like. So, was, so yeah. what are you expecting this album to sound like? Yeah. Very, um, cause I, I want, okay, with my music, like, I, I really like chill vibes. Like, yeah. I really like music that, like, I, ch- I make my music to where, like, people could just close their eyes and they could just, like, visualize, like, a It's just what I do. <laughs> and, like, like, with a dream song, like, um. Like when I it's dream pop, so like yes. when I saw that I was like, yo, this is tight. Like, like it's very like dreamy, and so that's why I came up with like this um, sound. It, it's I I kind of call it shoegaze because yeah. aspects of shoegaze and dream pop. Like I put aspects of shoegaze with dream pop. The only why the only reason why is uh, I like it being dream pop is because it still has a, a beat. Like yes. it's not slow or anything. Yeah, it's just yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah. Where you can still move around, but it still has that chill vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, um, I just really wanted to be like, like super, like you know, like how I said, like dreamy. Like I really like that dreamy vibe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I I'll think of some stuff because when I'm in that moment making music, like I'll try new things. And I don't know. I'll probably have like collabs, like with the. I usually like to have singers, like girl singers. Um. Yeah, so. Damn, hell yeah. Dude, so when are you thinking about doing that? Like, when are you going to take your vacation time? And... I don't know. I have to set it up, but it's going to be real soon, though. Like, like I'm going to just get back into it because I, I've been, haven't been doing anything with music. Mm. The only thing I, like, did recently with music was just Ooh. make tapes. Mm. And, like, gotcha. I mean, it was chill. Like, people yeah. were, like, um, buying them. I yeah. mean, they still bought them. Like, they sold out. Yeah. Like, I thought it was going to be hard to sell them, but it went fast. Even the shirts, too. <clears throat> Damn, that's crazy. And you just sold them online on the online yes. website that you're talking about. Gotcha. Yeah. I remember hitting you up a while ago to, like, play a show, and you were like, oh, I don't play shows right now, so how come you don't... Remember? I hit you up, like, a while ago, through Munchie Time. I was like, yo... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was, like, when you first, uh... When you first hit me up. Yeah, so how come you don't ha- How come you haven't been trying to play any shows it's because i used to have a um a band to play with okay but i i don't know because i'm really like professional like like i played house shows but you know it was all it was like punk and like i remember i was playing the music like one of my songs and then somebody in the background was like play some crazy stuff and then like I was like uh, like I really wanted to be like a professional like so that's why I, I want to get equipment of course I think your sound is way more yeah it, it's it, advanced yes almost in a sense to be played at house shows unless yes. it was like that style that was being portrayed on that yes. lineup then yeah yeah, yeah. Because the backyard we did it at like it was so like it was very like you know the scene like punk everything like it was dirt everywhere and you know, it was too, like you know that that does like fit that punk scene. But, yeah. You so you know, haven't you haven't tried stuff. to um, book yourself for any? Um, because I don't know. It's just hard because I have to get. I mean, I've tried to figure out a way where I could just do it myself, but it's not going to be the same. Like I want to have real drums, and then like I have to find <coughs> people again and like practice all over again. It's just going to be a lot of hard work. So that's why. I when I plan to do this album that I that uh, that I'm gonna come out with, I want 
like you know chill a little bit let it build up and then i'm at the same time i'm gonna have a lineup going on and like practice and stuff so that way i could do uh, some shows and stuff plus i'm gonna get like more try to get more equipment there's like a lot of stuff that i need to sound like more advanced right so so you're thinking once the album drops, that's when you're gonna really start yeah. try to do venues and yeah, because I do miss shows. it. Because I genuinely think you really should be doing shows. Mm. Like your shit is actually really, really good. So that's why I was so confused. I was like, what the fuck does he mean? He doesn't do shows. Like you should be. And I completely understand when you say like, you know, house shows are a little too much. Because for some artists, I genuinely agree. Like we've had some artists that were like, they look a little too good to be playing house shows you know like mm-hmm. you see that you see that yeah, in an yeah, artist exactly yeah so also, it's also knowing... the fact that you're talking about house shows being too crazy because we the last house show we threw yeah, <laughs> girl that's some tea <laughs> that shit was crazy yeah i know yeah. it can get a little much for us and we're very professional people i mean mm. fuck i'm i'm 23 i know we don't I'm look not... professional i know we don't act professional but... But we are. When it comes down to business, we're very professional. And I'm 23. He's 21. You know, we don't act like we're 16 anymore. Mm. So we want our shit to be as good as possible, even when we do have house shows. Mm. And, you know, it's just like, sometimes house shows can be a little much, but we appreciate the scene. And, and Bitch, are you on your phone right now? Yes. But you know <laughs> what I mean. Like, they, they can they try to have it. So Question, is he talking or are you talking? You're talking right, so I don't give a fuck. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sam, that's a good burn, though. Give me that one. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I understand where you're coming from. But at the same time, I don't, cause you should be having shows. So. Uh, <laughs> so what's up? I'm so trying. what's up? Damn. This is just hard. No, I know. I get it. I'm just giving you shit. But, I'm sorry. Uh, that's just who I am. But my sass is at an all time high when I'm sick. By the way. Also, because of the shit that happened today, which we're going to talk about in the later segment. But, um, in the segment. Do you think you'd be getting back the same band that you did before? Um. Yeah, probably because everyone that uh, that <coughs> that was in it, like, because I was the oldest one throughout um, the whole band. We were still in high school. I was a senior. Oh shit! There was a guy in sophomore playing junior, <coughs> two juniors I think, and they're still in school. They didn't have cars. So it's kind of hard to like get together. Yeah. So I don't know. Like they all drive now and they all have jobs, so it might be a little more easier. But uh, you know, but at the same time, like our setup, it wasn't that good. Like we had amps that were like this big, mm-hmm. and like I mean, I had, I got, I was working, and I I bought an amp that was like huge, but um, like I don't know, like it, like I don't know, it, it's not big enough sound to like play my music yeah. so mm-hmm. like when you're playing it, it didn't sound the same as like it did in the song like I wanted to sound real good but mm-hmm. it's like yo like I know this song it doesn't sound different at all it just sounds like the studio but. yeah right. no I completely, completely understand but I am excited because once that album comes out I'm expecting <laughs> fucking tour dates I don't know about that it's gonna happen, girl. So what about this? Better we're gonna throw it. a show. We're gonna throw a show in like July. Are you gonna play? I don't know. You wanna spin? Oh yeah. Oh. That'd be easy. <laughs> also, this means I'm telling you, this will happen. We're making a deal right now, and you need to shake on it. You're gonna teach me how to spin. I got vinyl. I'm ready. See, there you go. That way, I wanna learn how to spin so I can start spinning. At our shows? At our shows. Because sometimes I see people DJ and it really upsets me when I'm like... Well, you know, you why, does just, it, like, why does it you? ever just... Because sometimes I just feel like they're not... They don't doing, know what they're doing? You ever just watch something and you're like, wow, I feel like I could also do that. But I feel like I could also do it like 50 times better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how I genuinely feel. You always see that. Like, when I see DJs, I'm just like... And that's why I'm like Dude, so confused because I need to learn. There's a lot, of, there's a lot of DJs that I know that are clouded that get played that get it that gets in, like booked for all these stuff, and they're not even like that good. <laughs> and I'm just this like, why, like and, and I just and I've been trying to get like playing stuff like I've been like dude like I've been trying to spin like because I like playing funk and old school. And I really oh, love, see, like, there we go. We're, on, we're already on the same page. So I, guess. And I really love oldies and stuff. Like I want to spin that kind of stuff. Like you. Yeah. 
I mean, there's a lot of DJs now that are spinning that, but, um, I mean, you rarely see that. Like, yeah. you always see DJs, like, just spinning, like, off of a computer, and they're just playing, like, hip-hop and all that. But I like playing jams. I like playing the stuff for, like, the older people. They're just like, ah, I remember that jam when I was young. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that East Side shit. <laughs> uh, but, fuck. yeah, I'm done. Okay. It's a done deal, everybody. You heard that. So if you don't do it. And I'll teach you how to do match. I don't know if you know what that means. What does that mean? Like, okay, because um, a controller or CDJ mm-hmm. is like, there's a sync button and it blends it together. So it's like on, it's like on, um, it's, you know, it's playing at the same time, yeah. but together. But some DJs, like, they don't know how to do that, so it just sounds like, like it sounds like, some people say it's, uh, it sounds like, have you ever put shoes in a dryer, and it's like, like yeah, like, oh, like, that's what it sounds oh, like, so oh, oh. it's, it's just like, huh, like, like, yes, it sounds okay, ugly, no. okay, it sounds you. ugly, okay, we're gonna do that so then, beat that's matching on the list. is just like, it's that's smooth, and it's like, where, it just sounds like one song, right, but then okay. the other song comes on, it's just like, yo, he, he, he makes that clean, yes, okay, I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I mean, I have a lot of homies that DJ too, but it's just about me getting off my ass and taking the time to actually like learn it and shit. But bro, you need to get off your ass sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bitch. Rose. Bitch. All right. Well, is that? I can't really think of anything else at the moment. You kind of really covered everything I wanted to ask you. Oh, um. So like, when did you really start making music as Cool Tube? Like, and how did Cool Tube come? Okay. That's the real question. I know that's a very basic um, question, but everyone has to ask it. It started, I started like around 2014. I think oh, I was, wow. a, I okay. was a sophomore okay. in high school. And that, uh, like, it was really weird. Okay, because in middle school, like, I was a shuffler. Like, I was all about, like, EDM, like, electronic oh, dance music. Okay. And, like, my oh. dream was, like, to be, like, a DJ. Oh, like, my God. To, okay. To, like, at raves and stuff, to be playing that kind of music. Yeah. And so, like, I was into that for a while, and then I got introduced into, like, indie, like, you know, the XX, like, other older stuff. Like, I love the XX. And I have their that, That's what got too. me into, like, the chill music. Like, you know how their music is just, like, yo, it's, very, it's so uh, You can literally just yes. sit on your bed and yes. just... That, that's what opened me up to this kind of music. I see. Okay, now I see it. Now I see it. Yeah. And then I went into high school, and then I found college radio, and then, like, they played, like, so much weird stuff, and then I found, at the time, like... I found Burger Records. This was all like, this I was, love Burger Records. This, I've been to Burgerama like three times. <laughs> this was like high school going into yes. Like, I mean, yes, I mean same. junior high going into high school. Same. And like nobody knew what it was like, and same. I and I and I was still like a cholo like. I, That's I wanna, when the frights were like barely coming out. Yeah. That's when like all those people were barely coming out. That's when I, like, I went to a fright show. I play, with he, them. he played with the friends. Yeah, I played with them. I opened up for them, bro. What? That's tight. Mm-hmm. This so is back a in the day. Bot, dude, if you ever need vocals, please. Like, I'm telling you, <laughs> Jose is a phenomenal singer. Okay. He's so, so Every good. podcast you get to all, everyone Because that. he's so good. I just... Oh, I just wish he was more known for his voice. Because <laughs> you're so good. Yeah. You're talented, so, man. Yeah. So, as like... I mean, I had, like, a cholo-ish look. Like, I didn't really dress cool. Like, I just dressed in plain Oh, shit, shirt, you had the cholo baggy, look. Did, ba- did you wear the Cortezes? No, I, uh, I just you wore... Weren't, you weren't too fly for this. Yeah, I, w- I wasn't too cholo. Like, I was just, like, you know, like a... I didn't even wear the Cortezes, like, dude. A, like, I just wore... Always wear plain black shirts. Or plain colored shirts. Like, white. Oh, yeah, and you then, were straight and then, cholo. And then I had the 501s. And then I would just wear, like... Like any type of shoes, I think I still wear Vans, but um, yeah. So at the time, I was listening to like Daughter. Oh, um, I love Daughter. I love Daughter. The XX. Like they Daughter got they, is so like good I was live, opening but... I was opening up to different music other than just like um like I've always been listening to old school. I, I love all these all yeah. that, but I mean people at the time were listening to like YG and all that. Like it was dope. I, I Fuck it up. I like YG. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then um so yeah and then i found burger records i think that was like freshman into sophomore year and like oh. nobody knew what it was like it was so new like i remember seeing burgerama 2 
the flyer and I saw all these uh, <coughs> all these names like the Garden, like the Marco, oh, like the Garden, like. And then I was like, "Yo, what are, what are all these bands? Like, I want to check them out." And then I and then I heard all of them, and then it was just like weird. Like the first song like that ever got me into like all this like punk stuff was um, "I Am a Woman" by The Garden. Oh yeah, I am a woman. And I was like, "Yo, like I never heard anything like this," and I I liked it. Yeah. And then um, so that got me into like, "Yo, I wanna I wanna play guitar and all that." And then. Um, so yeah, like I, I remember like showing my homies like listen to this, and they're like, "What the?" They're like, "What the what hell the is this? Fuck? This is gay or something like that." And then like, um, like I was like, "Bro, forget you." Like, I, mm-hmm. I, but I mean, I was still cool with them. But um, like I don't know, I got my first guitar. Oh, I started off ukulele. That was like my first instrument I ever oh, had. Shit. And that's the instrument I play. And, yeah. and that got me into like used to playing guitar. So when I got a guitar, like I already knew how to strum and everything. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I started writing songs, and then that was, like, around 2014, and then, um, like, I changed my username to CoolTube, and then, like, I just started making writing songs, and I was like, you know, I want to put, <coughs> I want to put these songs out, like, I want to, I want to try to make music. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I put it out, and then, and then that's when I, like, that's when I like went away from like the friends that I started hanging out with because like I remember I, I made my music and I showed it to them and they're like yo this is gay like they didn't like it at all mm-hmm. and then I was like when I that's like I kind of got offended so I was just like 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 I don't know because I put like so much work into it so I was yeah. just like no forget yeah, you no, like, of course. so like um, I stopped hanging around with them and um, yeah, I mean I, I, I had a lot of friends so like I could you know like I was always saying what's up like I knew everybody so, I you mean, went I, the main solo. Yeah, and then I, I went to like all these skater up, dudes, all these fools that were wearing dickies, high waters, and all that. I was yeah. hanging triggered. out with those. Trigger, yeah. trigger, 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 yeah, trigger. And then, triggered. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I met school. I met a lot of people at shows, and then um, oh yeah, and then I found okay. Look, I was into punk and all that, right? And yeah. I found my bloody Valentine. That's like a real popular shoegaze band. Yeah. And it's just like it's like so like chill, and then I found, you know, um, this other band called Nothing. Like they're super dope. Like mm. if you do you know Nothing, no, dude, they're dope. You gotta look them up. I know. Wow, I heard nothing, their stuff, and then nothing. I was like, yo, I wanna. I don't know. Like basically, I made dreams, and I was like, yo, like I like how it sounds. It had nothing to do. You know, when older people listen to my music, they say, oh, it sounds like the Smiths, the Cure. Like it's it had, very, it has that, it, yes. It like 80s. Yes. Like, it had nothing to do with that. Like, I've never, like, I know the Cure, I know the Smiths. I never really listened to them, like, making music. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. it was just like, I pressed that effect, the chorus effect, and I was just like, yo, this one's tight. And I liked how the, re- the I put reverb on the Smiths. Yes. So, I made it, like, vintage. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know, like, like, I didn't know that sound was already out, like, it just came out and I was like, yo, this sounds cool. I'm gonna, this is how I'm going to make music. And then, like, I found other music. Like, I found Foliage. Oh, then, Foliage um, is cool. And then I was like, yo, like, he, he he's kind of, like, you know, we're making kind of, like, the same music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, um, he referred his music to, like, I think Joy Division and, like, Very. The Cure yes. or something like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, mine was just, like, I just want to make chill yeah, it just came out. Music, right, right, it just, right. like I don't know, it just came out and all worked out. And people yeah. loved it. One of my songs got five thousand likes on SoundCloud, and that's a lot. Like, and um, yeah, if people like it, and the top second playing country is Korea. Oh, um, Korea. <laughs> K-pop, like if you bro. if you look up K-pop. if you look up CoolTube on YouTube, there's like these Korean girls doing like makeup tutorials. <laughs> to no use, way! Like, to my music and Shut stuff. up! Girls <laughs> and like vlogs and stuff. Story of my life. You know what? I'm gonna put that. Can we put a picture of one of those girls doing her makeup as like the picture for this uh, podcast? Yeah. And then we'll bond directly. Okay. Right. So it's time to move on to the next segment because we're running out of time okay. and we have like three more segments left. This one's called Holly's Love Line. Do, where, do, 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 do. 
where she gives you the horrible advice that she won't even follow herself. No, it's the advice that I give myself that never works. So here we go. <laughs> I think you should call Julie, girl. But I'm good, men. Men are trash, but there's some good ones. We have a good one here. I love that you say that while you're while you're around two men. <laughs> men are trash, but there's some good ones still out there, like you two. Mm-hmm. Right? I swear to God, I'm no, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm an independent <laughs> woman. I'm chilling. Anyway. If any of y'all want an independent Stop. woman who's just chilling, get out of here. There's dial one eight hundred. Choke a hoe now. Really. This is the segment where we call someone and I give someone love advice. So I'm gonna call my girl up. My cousin Julie. She was on this podcast a couple months ago. She was. Yeah, with with um with Bird Mom. Oh, that's right. That's right. She, if you know the band Bird Mom, she is. Emmanuel's wife. Yes. Also, my cousin. Do you know Bird Mom? Have you heard of them? No. You should listen to their shit. They're really They're good. Really fuck good. They're really good indie, like very low key yeah. band. Oh, you gotta put her to sleep. No, I'm not. We'll see if she answers. Hello. Hey, Julie. What's up? Nothing much. What's going on? You're on the line, girl. <laughs> Oh. You're on, you're on, it's okay. reporting you. Okay. Girl, you're I'm, on I'm Holly's kidding. love line for munchy time. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> Do I don't you know, have girl, any love you advice? Need, you need any love advice? You need any advice? Can we give you any help? Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> this button at my mom's house. What's uh, going on? Do you need any love advice from Holly for our podcast? Okay, Holly. Since you are the love expert, tell me, <laughs> what do you do when you're stuck in a rut? What do you mean stuck in a rut? When you want to, like, spice things up, you know, like, how, mm-hmm. how can I surprise my band? All right, girl, this is what you do. I watched it on an episode of Broad City. This was season three. Um, and Abby did this once. It really worked. Um, not in the end of the episode, but in the moment it did work. Um, mm-hmm. a, a strap on. Oh, so, so you want me to pack them? Yes. You think that'll work? I mean, like most definitely. Like I tried, I tried everything, like like gooch simulation, everything. Like I don't know, I've never, I've never thought about that actually. Yes, a strap on. Um, it worked for Abby in the moment. Um. She was kind of unsure of it, too. I love Broad too, City, but, by the way. Yeah, I, I love Broad City. Those are my girls. But, um, yeah, okay. no, I definitely think a strap on. How do, I, how do I go about it? Do I, do I like, surprise them? Yes, yes. I think just in the middle, you start putting it on. Boom, bada, bing, bada, bing. Real easy. You know, it, it, you put it on, and then you're like, ha! And then he's like, oh! And then, you know, it's just... <laughs> do, I, do I, like, dick slap him with it? Yeah, girl. You just gotta put it on. He'll really enjoy it. I'm sure he will. Okay, thank you so much for selecting me as your as your contestant on Holly's Love Thing. Yes. I've been emailing thank- you guys nonstop. I know, girl. I know you <laughs> have. That's why, I, that's, why, that's why I finally called you, girl. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I'm, I'm gonna get back to my family time. But I will definitely be taking your advice. I'll get back to you with a follow up. And everything. Right. Thanks, girl. I, you know, I love you. I appreciate you. Love you too, girl. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 And that was Holly's love line. Just helped another client out. Nice. Helped another human being out. <laughs> another human in need. All right. And that's so, the end of Holly's love line. So I'm gonna oh, introduce a new segment to the podcast, girl. What this is, is gonna be called Jose's Cheese McCorner. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Cheese my corner. Cheese me. I feel like while he's doing this, he should have like, like a, a martini or like a margarita. You Bro, I don't mean? have a martini or a margarita on. Like me. to to sip while he's like talking his tea. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You could. Jose, get off your fucking phone. We are on a podcast. Bro, I really want frozen yogurt. I know you do. We're gonna get it after. No okay, so cheese me real quick. I just want to talk about one thing. <laughs> Kali Uche's, what the fuck did you do today? Oh, yeah, girl. We need to talk about that today. I waited in line for two hours. We waited in line for two hours. We got we in. Two more, two and a half more hours. Because she was two hours late. Doors opened at two. Then she came. 
The whole entire time, we were just watching some white chick DJ. And she wasn't even a good DJ. What kind of music was she playing? She was just... Playing random ass shit. She 50, was... the, the greatest hits. The 50 greatest hits right now. Top tracks. And then she played some Cali. She played her whole fucking album twice. Yeah, and the thing is, is like, we stood there... And you there. know how, like, the DJs, like, they, like, act like they're doing shit. She was doing that while she's playing, like, the fucking album like, Cali I'll, I'll Uchi's. Of the, yeah, I'm like... Girl. Oh, and she's got her beats on, too. Yeah. I'm like, oh, girl. Anyways. And then freaking Cali shows up in a limo... And she tells everyone, hey, meet me in the back if you want to meet me. And she doesn't like, play no oh, music, nothing. We were nothing. in the front. We waited two and a half hours to be in the front. Yeah. And then you had to wait like two more hours just to meet her. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm done. So I'm we good. just left. We didn't meet her. We basically waited <laughs> waited for four and a half hours for a free just t-shirt. Just shirt. And that's it. So that's the end of Jose's I mean, Cheese Me was... Corner. Can all the people that we talk cheese me about please fix up their lives? That's it. That's all I ask. <laughs> now we're coming up on our last section. This is the final section, the final little bit, the track of the week, track of the motherfucking week, girl. I'm glad you didn't spill any tea on anyone else, thank you. <laughs> oh, do you want me to? No. <laughs> then you shouldn't have brought it up. Don't worry, I have next Sunday. It's gonna be, it's gonna be irrelevant by then. Exactly, so that would be fine. Hashtag someone blocked her on Instagram. <gasps> We'll talk about this next Sunday. <laughs> Anyways, I don't even give a fuck anymore. I'm just gonna flat out say it. Y'all know I'm a good person. I didn't do anything wrong. So, <laughs> so if you could pick any track, new, old, futuristic, yeah, popular, podcast. annoying, who gives a fuck what anyone has to think, open minded, country, rap, rock, trap, anything. What is the song that you've been listening to over and over and over on repeat that's been stuck on your head for this week? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, Shit. okay. While he's looking, it, it's a song. It's while he's looking, old. I'm gonna say mine. Even though she pissed me off today, it's "After the Storm" by Kali Uchis. I know, I love that, that song, song I've been singing so it over and over much. again all week. All I'm gonna be week. basic as fuck and say, Nah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> You're basic um, as fuck? No, I'm gonna say that my song is Clean by the Japanese House, and they are also produced by the 1975, uh, George and Matt of the band. And the 1975 are my favorite fucking band, so obviously, y'all know I'm gonna love it. Um, so it already has that sound behind them if you listen to them, so it's very dreamy, very synthy, very clean. Unlike you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, so that's been on repeat. What about you? Fudge in my icy twat. And how do you describe that? Song. It's like, cause he makes like he makes like nineties like vibe like R and B but trap. Mm. And it's like super dope and it's it's banging like. Mm-hmm. Banging. Bang ba 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 banging. All right, I'm gonna get frozen yogurt. I'm leaving. Yeah. Like I'm done. See ya. Okay, I'm done. See ya. I'm like, See ya. I'm, ready be, yeah. I'm ready to pass out. Ooh. I'm ready to pass. I'm ready to pass out. I'm gonna smoke a blunt and pass out. And he's a frozen yogurt. See ya on the flippity flap. Bitch, that's my thing. Shut the no, fuck up. No, that's Michael Scott's thing. I don't give a fuck. Steal that from I don't the give a fuck. I don't know who the fuck that is. I've never watched that fucking shit show. Fuck you. It's so from the I say that and I say that. You know, that. the other day I saw someone walking the streets and they had a fucking. Uh, Shroot Farms shirt on. I lost my shirt. I'm ending the podcast. Bye. Bye.